Congratulations on downloading the evaluation version of Sandstorm. To start, double click the installer. On the installer window, click next to proceed. Supply the installation path. So we select C program files Sandstorm. So click install. And the progress bar will show you the status of the installation. At completion, the installation directory looks like this. In audit files, various logs are stored. Under the results file folder, various result files can be stored. And uh, we have a configuration file where we can uh, modify the default configuration settings. Let's now create our first test case. So we'll do this with the Sandstorm recorder component. To open the recorder, we go to program files, Sandstorm and click the recorder. This is the UI for the recorder. So creation of a test case is a two step process. First, we create an agenda. So let's give it a name. To start the recording, we hit this button and uh, here we can select the browser, supply the application URL and click OK. As soon as we do this, we can see that uh, the browser opens up and the application homepage gets loaded. And corresponding to these, all the requests are captured uh, in the recorder. And at the bottom, we can see the proxy log getting captured. Let's mark a transaction in our test case. Do the login activity in the application. And then under this transaction, all the requests have got captured. To unmark or end transaction, hit this button. To stop recording, hit the red button. And then we save this agenda. The reason behind keeping the agenda and test case as separate entities is uh, an agenda can be used by multiple test cases. So to proceed, we close this agenda and uh, create a new test case. And to this test case, we add the recorded agenda. So select the agenda from here and click OK. So here the agenda gets added. With these requests in the test case, you can uh, perform various operations. You can modify the runtime parameters of these requests. So to do this, you simply double click the request. Go to parameters tab, select the parameter you want to modify and then select the modification criteria. This feature is basically used for uh, modifying the parameters which change at runtime like session ID and uh, timestamp which is used for uh, keeping the session secured. This feature can also be used for adding variety in the test case. So if we want to parameterize it with multiple users or uh, supply different parameters for uh, different users, you can use this feature. In the test case, you can insert loops, insert think times, add uh, rendezvous points as well. You can uh, also attach JavaScript to your uh, request to modify the runtime parameters. So this is another way of uh, parameterizing. And once we are done with all this, we can save the test case and the test case is ready for execution. Because this is an evaluation version of Sandstorm, we would not be able to perform a debug run from the recorder. So for uh, executing this, we'll use the controller component. 
so again to open the controller we go to program files and select the controller at the controller uh, ui we create a new scenario give it a name in this scenario we add a group and to this group we add virtual users so we can add the virtual users from this button here we select the number of virtual users we want to add this is the v user host from which the load would be generated the default is the local host and then to these virtual users you add the recorded uh, test case click ok so here you can see the scenario has got created we can configure this scenario from the configure scenario option here you can uh, specify the run duration for the scenario let us run this for a couple of iterations and uh, along with this you can also specify the ramp up for these users say a ramp up is one user every five seconds click ok in future if the application host changes then uh, you can modify that application host from the configure uh, test case host option so you go to group configuration go to other options and here you can specify the new host so that you don't have to re-record your test case for execution so after configuring the scenario we are uh, good to load the scenario for loading the scenario hit the load scenario button And as soon as you do this, you can see on the bottom right of your screen a yellow icon which is the Sandstorm command launcher. It runs as a service and governs the execution of uh, virtual users. So when the status turns to ready, you can click the run scenario button. And here you can see the scenario progress window with uh, the response times for various transactions along with uh, few real time graphs so at the execution we will have the scenario reset button activated over here and the status would uh, show as executed now to see the results of this test run let's use the analyzer component the analyzer can be opened from the program files menu but uh, to open the results for uh, this test run let us open the analyzer from the controller itself so we click the analyzer button and here select the various options for generating our results click ok and the results would be displayed over here you can generate multiple graphs using the analyzer this is the transaction performance summary graph similarly we can have uh, average transaction per second graph response times for uh, various transactions would be sh shown over here similarly we can generate multiple reports this is the transaction performance summary report which gives the response times along with the 90th percentile and standard deviation for various transactions this is the transaction performance by v user report where we can have the performance of individual v user all these reports can be exported to csv files from this option and uh, we can also generate pdf reports out of uh, these files so this was about how to get started with Sandstorm. Thank you very much.